Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again, Juliet Grandma's Creations. Um, this week I have, it's not really a gadget, but you can make your own gadget with this. It's more like a technique. So sometimes they're called thread savers, sometimes they're called donkeys, sometimes they're called leaders or enders. Any of those terms means the same thing. Let me show you what it is. So this is it. All it is, is a piece of fabric, a small piece of fabric, and it's folded over twice. So, how does this help us? Well, when we quilt or we're joining lots of little pieces of fabric together, we can waste a lot of fab fabric. We also can lose our bobbing thread down the... Um, into our foot plate and sometimes we can even lose our top thread so this is something that avoids that and the other thing is you don't have to keep cutting off and drawing out your thread every time you start a new seam so let me show you all you do is you start off on this donkey or leader or ender and then when you come to end of it, you start by putting your pieces of fabric underneath and continuing to sew, just like this. And we get to the end of our seam, we cut the donkey off, we use another one and we apply at the end like so then we take out the machine and we chop off our donkeys so this is what we're left with at the beginning of our work and at the end and what this helps to do is it helps because you're not wasting lots of thread all you're doing is taking a very short bit of thread keeping them both together onto your donkey and then you sew down and you start another seam. That way you're not wasting too much thread. That's why they're called thread savers. All you simply do is cut them off both ends. So, thread savers, do you use them? Do you call them something else? Do you rate them? Or do you think they're just a waste of time? Please, whatever you feel, please pop that in the comments box. Always love to hear from everybody. If you're using um, a thread saver like a donkey, then it's probably wise to, you can use a scrap, but probably the same weight as you're sewing your seams with. That way, the presser foot stays at an even keel, so you'll get less problems. But apart from that, you can use any scraps, which is really useful something that doesn't cost any money but is very very handy so thanks for tuning in everyone and happy week of sewing to you bye for now